Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified brand ambassador at Porsche West Palm Beach and thanks so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you like my YouTube walkaround videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit the like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walkaround video we're going to take a look at this spectacular all new 2022 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership. Congratulations to the owner on specking such a fantastic 911 GT3 Touring. And thank you so much also to the owner for allowing me to do a YouTube Rockaround video on your brand new Porsche. So in today's video, we're gonna highlight the build specifications on this specific car. We're gonna of course start with the outside. This one finished in the iconic A1 black color, a very dark black non-metallic color for the 911 GT3 Touring, looking fantastic. Looking here at the front, we can see the original front fascia design of the all-new 911 GT3 Touring, based of course now on the model generation 992. The 911 GT3 Touring was introduced a few years back as the first model on the uh, 991 generation for 2018 and 2019, and here we have the second generation GT3 Touring based on model code 992. Looking here at the front, we can see the very aggressive styling of the new front fascia, a very large air intake here in the middle section in the front bumper. Uh, to of course have the intake to the front place radiator. We also have new, the new nostril system here in the front hood. You can see the air exits here uh, located in the front hood while the previous generation GT3 Touring had the outlet system more placed in the front bumper design. Also the hood now is made out of carbon fiber which on the previous generation GT3 Touring was still made out of aluminum. Very aggressive styling, much wider front fenders also versus the previous generation car. Looking fantastic, sporty and still very elegant. The specific car also updated with the LED headlight finished in black. You can see the beautiful inside housing. Let's get a better angle here with these white front fenders. Look how beautiful that is. Especially here with the nostril system in the front hood. Very race car like, looking fantastic also on the touring version of the GT3. Getting here to the side, we can see the GT3 center locking wheels. There is no design change available to the original factory wheels from the GT3. 20 inch in the front, 21 inch in the back. This specific uh, wheel finish in the optional satin black. Looking fantastic against, of course, the high gloss black of the car. You can also see behind the 20 inch front uh, wheels, the PCCB, the optional Porsche common composite brake system as a factory option, where also the br uh, brake calipers in this case are finished in high gloss black. Getting here to the side, we can see the beautiful wide side skirts for the new generation uh, GT3 Touring, significantly wider as the previous generation. Getting here to the back, uh, not noticeable here on the camera, but now also the back side window and the back window itself made out of polycarbonate, which on the previous generation car was still traditional glass. Of course, this is a weight savings technology. Again, back window and side windows in polycarbonate. Getting here to the back, we can see this one also has the optional clear tail light design where the middle section here going across, as you can see, is fully clear. The beautiful black Porsche letters on the back integrated in these three-dimensional LED tail lights, looking stunning. This very large rear spoiler, again, significantly larger as the previous generation touring model in 2018 and 19. And also the specific engine deck here with the GT3 touring letters here on the back. The engine, the iconic 4-liter flat 6, still revving out to 9,000 RPM, just over 500 horsepower. Now running the individual throttle bodies from the 911 Speedster from about two years ago. So it is a different updated version of the GT3 Touring motor from a few years ago. And again, in this case also, beautiful with this center locking, uh, sorry, center located exhaust system, especially with the 9,000 RPM red line. You can imagine the screaming sound of these flat 6s, just fantastic. Again, of course, a completely redesigned rear end. You can see here this very large diffuser going all the way across, significantly larger as the previous generation Touring. Now the previous generation Touring did also run a diffuser, which initially was introduced on the 911R back in model year 2016. But now with the complete redesign of the GT3 model, we have a significantly more aggressively styled rear diffuser and back bumper. Again, also the back fenders wider as the previous generation car. So from this angle, we can see how wide the new 992 GT3 Touring is looking fantastic. These little fins also here in the bottom section, looking stunning. Okay, so we covered the wheels, the optional carbon ceramic brakes, the clear tail lights, the centrally located exhaust system, of course, the 500 horsepower flat six. Let's have a look on the inside. Where this specific car has beautiful Porsche exclusive manufacturer options on the inside. 
The seats are the beautiful Sport Seats Plus with the combination of the black leather with the Sportex specific touring material in the middle. So this specific um, Sportex in the center part of the seat is um, in terms of design and material specific to the touring model. You see the beautiful black leather, in this case also with a deviated stitching package in pebble gray, the Porsche crest and boss in the headrest. Some other special Porsche exclusive manufacturer options is that the seat belt outlet trim is finished in Racetex, also known as Alcantara, as a beautiful um, factory option. Look also at the beautiful strap here for the seat. Again, black leather with the pebble gray stitching. The headliner also finished in Racetex Alcantara. And then also the sun visors as an optional. Again, finished in the Racetex Alcantara from Porsche Exclusive Manufacturer. This one also has the extended leather package. You can see that even the side seal here on the bottom section has been finished in black leather with the pebble gray stitching. Also as a factory option, we can see the high gloss version of the carbon fiber. So we can see carbon fiber going all the way across on the dashboard around the center console area here. And then also matched up here with the GT3 side sill in gloss carbon fiber, especially against the finish here of the black leather with the pebble gray stitching looking stunning. We also have the aluminum pedals here. This one fitted with the iconic six speed short shifter manual transmission. Now the new GT3 Touring is also available as the seven speed PDK, but overall I think most touring models win, will end up being again the six speed manual, just like the previous generation, which was only available as a six speed manual. Looking at the door panel, you can see the beautiful black ladder again applied by Porsche, top section with the pebble gray stitching. Then we have this very specific pattern, which in terms of design is specific to the touring model of the GT3, not available on the wing car. Again, all the deviated stitching also in the middle section of the door panel, look at all the beautiful black leather, the armrest also in the door panel, and that flow here to that side sill area here with the black leather looking fantastic. Then also here for the Sport Chrono, we can see that this car is equipped with the Sport Chrono package with the, the actual Sport Chrono clock finished in white. And you can also see the center tachometer once again finished in white, looking fantastic against the pebble gray stitching, which overall is very light in its color. So it looks fantastic with the contrast here with the white dial. You can also see that the steering column casing by Porsche Exclusive Manufacture has been fitted in leather with again the same deviated stitching and the same for the knee pad there on the lower section. Then we have, of course, he seat heating. We also have the front axle lift system as a practicality level to raise the front by about an inch and a half, which of course does make it a little easier. You can also see that the center armrest once again is finished with black leather and deviated stitching. And looking here at the back, even the back side there, again, finished in black leather with the same deviated stitching. A stunning build with all the black accents against the light pebble gray stitching, the white accents with the instrument dial and the sport chrono clock. Of course, the 9,000 RPM screaming flat six, just over 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated motor, the new wider body of the new GT3 Touring, all the details with the carbon hood, the polycarbonate windows, and just the overall design and look of this car, just fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick YouTube walkaround video on this stunning 2022 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring. Once again, congratulations to the owner on this fantastic Porsche model. Thanks so much for allowing me to do the video. Enjoy this fantastic automobile. Keep sharing the Porsche passion and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.